hey what's going on guys i'm just sitting there playing the fiddle on my gpu seeing how the ethereum merges happen these are pretty much dead but hey you know what there still may be hope for these guys coming into the future due to the fact that caspa is now looking like a 14 year old boy hanging out at the sears catalog just saying Anyway, so we don't know what's going to be in store for the future, but Casp is doing some great things out there. But today, we're here to talk about the Mini Doge 2. Yes, there's a new Dogecoin miner coming. Goldshell recently just dropped it on their Twitter page, and it is on the way. And guess what, guys? Look at this. The Mini Doge 2. Now, you're probably asking yourself, how the heck did I get one already? They just got announced, not even released yet. But here I am holding this mini box miner. Well, guess what? I don't have one. You guys probably knew that. But if not, this is not. This is a KD box too. They all look the same. Just like what we saw with the mini Doge, the mini Doge Pro and so on. With the KD boxes, they all look the same. And this is exactly what the mini Doge 2 does look like according to their tweet. It uses 400 watts just like these. Hash rate mode, low power mode and so on. So... I'm gonna to go to my spreadsheet here in a little bit. We're gonna look at this Mini Doge 2 and see just how well it does perform to give you guys an idea on if you should pick one up or not. Remember, 2023, I feel, is gonna be a very interesting year. Why? We may see some new script miners emerge. Now we have rumors of the Locatech hash blade and that thing is gonna be a beast. Think about it, 1.9 giga hash at like a little over 200 watts. That's insane. Now, will it happen this year? Who knows? Is it going to happen at all? Who knows? I really think that's going to be sweet if it does, but we just have to wait and find out. Now, usually around 2024, we are probably going to see Bitmain drop a beast miner on us again. And if the hash blade does actually happen sometime at the end of this year, then we could see Bitmain fast track a halfway mid-range miner as well. So that means... Kadena or not Kadena, uh, Doge could end up just like Kadena is and so on. So we don't know what the future is going to hold. But anyway, we're going to look at some numbers and see. So, so far, based on a non-released miner, this thing does have a decibel reading of about zero because it's not released. So it's not mining. You know, it's not making any noise if it's not turned on or powered off. So yeah, nice and quiet when you don't have it out released yet. Anyway, guys, so we're thinking about maybe... $500 is probably what it's going to be released at. Now you're probably up in the air. Now, should I buy one? Should I buy the coin? There's a lot of people saying just buy the coins now. Market's down too much, but we don't mine for a bear market. We mine for a bull run. We want those coins to be worth so much more. And in the process, we may be able to sell these things in 2025 for probably four or $5,000. That's what the previous mini doge and everything was selling for when they released in the previous bull run 2021. So who knows? That may be a thing. We may be able to buy these now for 500 bucks, flip them in 2025 for like 4,000. That's another thing a lot of people are looking at. But again, if everyone decides this is the way they want to run their crypto business, no one's going to sell any because we all know what's going on. So who knows? It's going to be an interesting process. Anyway, guys, regardless, let's jump into the workstation and see just how well this thing does seem to perform today. All right. So here I am inside of my spreadsheet and I got this set up for merge mining Dogecoin along Litecoin. Now, I just want to point out if you are not merge mining Dogecoin with any of the script coins, you're 99% doing it wrong because that's where the majority of the profit comes from for the script miners. Now I do have the Dogecoin price and network hash rates up to date as well as the Litecoin network hash rates and price up to date. So let's take a look at some current profitability. So coming into the gold shell post here, it is about 420 mega hash at 400 watts. So over here, I do have how much power this 400 watts this is all worked out in 11 cents per kilowatt hour. So on hash rate mode, it will cost me a dollar five to run this per day. And on low power mode, running at 335 watts, 
this will cost me 68 cents. So let's take a look at how much this thing is actually making. So starting off in hash rate mode, that is 420 mega hash. It's looking like we're getting about 9.4 Dogecoins per day and 0.004 Litecoin. That works out to be 77 cents in Dogecoin and 41 cents in Litecoin. Now keep in mind, depending on the pool you're utilizing, I do personally find Litecoin pool to be the most profitable script mining pool but it only pays you out in litecoin so it is swapping your doge into ltc and then paying you out that way now you can take that way and then swap it back in the doge after your payout later and get the most amount of dogecoin but it depends up to you if you want to split it 50 50 or something you're going to have to use a pool that pays out in both coins now let's look at our minor profit here a dollar 18 before power merge mining the two coins and again on hash rate mode 11 cents per kilowatt hour that will cost me a dollar five so i'm actually profit here of 13 cents mining on this in today's current market which is actually pretty good because it's green uh the mini doge pro is not green at this point in time moving on to low power mode so here we are at 335 mega hash 7.5 doge coins per day or 0.0035 litecoin per day that is 61 cents 61.6 so maybe 62 cents rounding it up in dogecoin and 33 cents in ltc that is a minor profit before power of 94.7 cents and again at 11 cent per kilowatt hour because this uses less power i'm sitting at 68 cents that actually puts my profit up to 26 cents up from what our previous 13 cents. So it is more profitable using this miner on low power mode in theory. So moving on, I did break this down into hash to watt ratios. Now I know other people do it the reverse way where they show the different efficiencies of this in terms of it's more like a watt to hash. But my way, I like it this way better because this legitly tells you what your mega hash per watt used is. So in theory, I kind of have a broke down 30 amp, 240 volt, 80 percent, and I can show you how much hash rate between each one of these miners you can actually fit on this circuit. It kind of opens your eyes to why efficiency is king. But let's just break this down here. On hash rate mode, the Mini Doge 2 is about 1.05 mega hash per watt. So every watt of power that you use, you're getting 1.05 mega hash, and on low power mode, that is 1.25 mega hash per watt now we can just take a quick look here versus the l7 the 9.5 giga hash big daddy version is actually 2.77 mega hash per watt of power used the lt light is 1.13 and i know a lot of people are looking into l3 pluses due to the fact that they're getting so cheap now 200 or so maybe even less but they're cheap for a reason they're not that good just saying anyway this is actually 0.76 mega hash per watt not very good so now let's have a look into why efficiency really matters so here we have a 30 amp 240 volt at 80 percent at 100 percent that is 7200 watts on this type of circuit 80 percent you do not want to run your rigs at 100 percent of the time 24 7 you want to run 80 percent so it has time to cool and not overheat so we have to use 5,700 watts. So here's the L7. And for all of us that are power limited, we don't have, you know, imaginable mega million watt farms or anything. So we have we don't have the infrastructure to just buy whatever we want and stack it up. So we have to be really picky so we get the max amount of hash rate for the power. And remember, these numbers are based on the same amount of power, 5,700 watts. So an L7 loaded up here at 5700 watts would get you 15.78 giga hash at 57 watts now you would need two l7s here that would push you around 64 60 actually 6800 watts or so which is around 94 percent or something so that might probably be a bad idea unless you got some cooling going on in your lines or something so you might 100 percent be able to do that I guess safely, but we're just looking at the hash rate and what it kind of means here in terms of efficiency. But that would be about 19 giga hash if you were to throw two of those on a 30 amp 240 volt. Now, moving on, the Doge 2 low power mode that would get you 7.29 giga hash at 5700 watts. 
The Doge 2 in hash rate mode would get you 5.98 giga hash and 57 watts. And another reason why the L3 Plus is just an outdated miner, which you should probably not buy no matter how cheap it gets. Loading up 5,700 watts will only get you 4.33 giga hash worth of hash rate. And this is where all of these using the exact same amount of power here so you can see the difference between efficiencies and generations of the hardware that people are looking at all right guys so there we have it and this mic is looking pretty weird and no i am not sponsored by hive os if you're wondering about the sweater or anything this was a christmas gift a while back anyway thank you for checking out this video guys and i want to know your thoughts and opinions on the mini doge two i want to keep saying pro all the time i don't know why but the mini doge two when it releases he planning on picking one up and all the numbers i kind of showed you earlier when it comes to efficiencies obviously if you're running two to five cent power those things don't really matter but we also got to keep in mind the future of more miners coming online is going to drop that profitability down and efficiency again will become a key point but regardless guys thank you for checking out this video i will see you on the next one Rabbit out.